Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. Um, yeah, what Chainlink is doing here is really only semi-good, in my opinion, yeah. So I think the immediate uptrend is over. Um, the reason I say that for Chainlink um, is, is it has a certain specific reason, right? There were certain levels that I gave you for Solana Cardano, for example, where I say the price should not really drop below it. Otherwise, the immediate uptrend is most likely over. It's not guaranteed, but it's most likely over. In this case, so for Ethereum, that was, for example, the $3,050 level that, in my opinion, or it, I think it hasn't reached yet. I haven't checked, but I think it hasn't reached yet. Here for Chainlink, it was here the um, nearly the $16 level. So that previous high here, and we dropped below it, as you can see, in a very impulsive move, and we are now retesting this former support well it was actually never support you know um so we're retesting it again as resistance and if that is successful i think we're going to see some further downside here the reason i say that is that obviously chain link reached my target area this was the area where my lowest buy order triggered as well very nice since then um chain link actually made a nearly 60 percent yeah which is positive but it has dropped quite um impulsive again yeah and the reason is that okay the possibility existed that this could have been the low and to be honest the possibility still exists but it's now much more much less likely that this was already the low um the reason is that obviously for every um move up yeah or every beginning after a correction what you need is a first impulse we need a first five wave move and you can count this as a wave one two here as a wave three possibly yeah not great because i think we didn't reach the targets and yeah this would need to be a wave four then but in the wave four you're not allowed to get into the price region of the wave one but as you can see the price did cut this so this can never be a wave four therefore this is now messed up and you can just take that out basically also in addition to that, it would be interesting to see has actually this upside target been reached of the wave one. In my opinion, as I can see it here, even without looking at this, I don't think so. So let's take the Fibonacci's. No, absolutely not. Because if you see this as a wave one, two, then in a wave three here, the minimum target would have been $19.60. That hasn't even been reached. So yeah doesn't really look very bullish now the only other way would be we count this as a wave one two this would also be again a wave one two do i think it's likely no do i like that scenario no therefore i don't uh yeah i'll take that out i think also looking at how impulsive we're coming down here could really be that we drop one small lower yeah and also chain link in terms of what it has done in terms of upside potential or upside movement it has not even come above this previous rejection point, this swing high here from the 8th or the 10th of February. And th this is what many other cryptos actually did. They moved above this level and broke above it already. Now, Chainlink just didn't bother. It hasn't done it. So yeah, not the greatest performance of Chainlink here in the last few weeks, unfortunately. It was one of the cryptos where I said, yeah, the low could really be in. We have seen very, very nice reaction here to the target area. And it also broke out of that descending wedge, started to look interesting, but I think it hasn't used the opportunity. And um, yeah, I think we could see even lower lows here still, because overall what you're making here is a low, uh, is a high, a lower high, and another lower high at the moment. So yeah, in my opinion, it doesn't really look very bullish at the moment. Um, also looking here at the charts, two-day chart under pressure, MACD going down bearish crossover here short signal on the adx and the i indicator that's the two-day chart um let's take a look at the four-day chart the more the longer term one also here under pressure on the macd also short signal actually failed to make a long signal here since um it had the bearish signal on the 17th of january since then actually even on the four-day chart we haven't seen that bullish momentum signal therefore that could that, that could explain why we haven't seen that upside that we have seen with other cryptocurrencies. Um, the daily chart, even here, short signal, downside momentum on the MACD, more room for further downside on the RSI. So yeah, I think, you know, 
um, this could be could be over this uptrend. Um, the four hour is already turning up and this is now where we are gonna see a decision here. How much will that four hour momentum, bullish momentum, push the price up? Is it going to be something that can um, help the price to move higher? In my opinion, not. It has come down too impulsive for me and it looks actually quite bearish. Now there is no guarantee this will break to the downside, but this is really starting to look like a bearish flag. Um, on the hourly chart, you can see that here even, oh no, even a bit clearer, um, or a bearish pennant, yeah, where we would then break out of this, or even a yeah, pennant, whatever. Um, it's not guaranteed to break out to the downside, this one, but this is normally more likely than not a bearish pattern, which also would result in further downside. Yeah, that is how um, Chainlink is looking like at the moment. That was just a quick update. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.